Recently at Google's 2021 I.O. event, they announced the upcoming Android 12, and they recently started doing developer betas of it, and uh, I have it right here. I've been playing around with it for about four days now, and it's an interesting change from everything we've had in Android since its inception. Let's take a look at some of the new animations, some of the new designs, and some of the new features. Let's begin. <music> Now the first thing that anyone's gonna notice as soon as you update your device, as soon as you turn it on, is the new design, the new UI. Everything is more bubbly and bigger, kind of like Windows 11, but everything's a lot bubblier, bigger, rounder. Even on the home screen, the notifications are kind of rounded, the time is bigger, and with the always-on display for phones that support that, the uh, opening animation's a little different. So if I open the phone from the power button, you can see it kind of fades the color through, and then if I close it, it kind of shrinks back into the buttons. And if I, well, it's supposed to, if I double tap, yeah, there you go, it comes up from the top. It's, it's a beta, very early beta. They've got some time to work it out. That's nice, it's not something that really impacts your use, but is always a nice little touch. And another little touch on the lock screen that I didn't know if I'd be able to demo, but if you swipe away all your notifications, time becomes massive. And it stays that way when you lock the device. And then when you unlock it like that, you can see the time gets a little fatter, a little bigger, a little more pronounced. I like that a lot. Now another spot that you're gonna notice this big round corners idea is in your control center and notification shape. All notifications are pretty much rounded at this point. If you pull down to expand them all, you can see that everything kind of is a lot bigger than it was in Android 11 or 10 or Android in general, which I think is pretty cool because it's it feels like it has a purpose now you know like it feels like it's part of the experience it's not kind of something that you just use once or twice and is tacked on i don't know if this is a google thing or if this is new to android 12 if you have smart home devices like smart plugs smart bulbs speakers whatever in the um control center there's a new menu called device controls and if you bring it up it gives you all of your smart home stuff which is pretty cool i mean i use a lot of smart home stuff so being able to just control it all through here is pretty awesome so i don't have to go find the google home app or the smart life app it's just a swipe down in any app and tap to launch. And another part of the new UI is Material U, which will kind of take cues and accents from your wallpaper and kind of shift the device UI theme to kind of coincide with it. So if you have a blue and yellow wallpaper, it'll kind of take a couple yellow accents and some blue accents and spread them out. I haven't experienced it yet. I have chosen not to use that because I don't really think I would use it. But from what I've heard from the people that do use it, it's pretty good. If you want more color customization for Android without having to download apps or install plugins or whatever, it's now part of Android 12 natively. So you can now color to your heart's content. And then on stage at the keynote, they talked a lot about privacy and how what's on your device should stay on your device and should be asking you for permission to share any of your data. You can tell by my face, I don't have much faith in that. It's good. It's Google. Their entire business model is selling your data. I don't have much faith in that. I mean, they could surprise me. They could pull an Apple and just completely lock everything down. But I feel like that would be a piss poor business decision for them because these guys don't really sell too well compared to other Android phones. So yeah, I'm sure there probably are new privacy requirements for apps, but considering that Google just updated the Play Store publishing requirements and one of those new requirements is a verified email i don't have much hope like you're telling me that people could have just 10 minute mailed an app into the play store why i feel like android 12 is very much well, from what we've seen at least very much a slow year very much an ios 12 kind of year where they're just kind of fortifying the initial design of android kind of doing a little bit of visual overhaul but mostly just kind of back end stuff and privacy there are new widgets and all kinds of new animations to go along with them but we don't have those yet this is dev beta 2 and the we don't have them, but I'll throw some pictures up on screen. They do look interesting. The weather one looks nice, the time, the clock, everything. I don't know if I use it. Uh, right now, Samsung kind of holds the crown for my weather widget, but I'm open to change. And again, we are really early in the development for Android 12. This is dev beta 2, so there's plenty of time to add, change, alter, remove 
bunch of features. I'll be keeping up with it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make another video on it until it's launched, but if I do find anything super interesting, I will post something on my Twitter or Instagram. They are linked right here right here go check them out follow them for updates if you haven't already and uh yeah so far with stock vanilla android 12 i'm kind of impressed i like where it's going now just to see how oems adapt their skins to play along with this or do they just completely ignore it we'll have to find out i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe please do subscribe i am currently two subs away from 800 it would mean the entire world to me if you subbed are you excited for android 12 let me know down in the comments and i will see you guys next week for more videos goodbye